Good morning everybody, welcome along to the vlog. We're in the middle of Clayworth, Retford and Worksop Boat Club actually, because today, oh well, there's some lovely fishes there, look. Today we're going to be joining Martin on his boat to have a little cruise into Retford. Let's just have a little look around the corner and he should be moored up just outside, well that used to be the old post office over there. But this looks like a familiar boat to me, just here. And here they are. Let's go and see if anybody's in. Good morning. <laughs> Hello, young man. Hello, buddy. Here's the man himself. Is that it? Are you meant to say? <laughs> you want me to say who who, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> you really want me to say who who? All right, shall I say who who? Right, start the joke again. <laughs> Who's there? Who? No. Oh. Sorry, no, no. Start again. Start again. <laughs> Hello, Abby. How you doing? Come on in. No, that's the wrong. That's the wrong. That's thing right to the beginning. No, right, okay, let's, let's, right, right, start that, another, another go, last time, right. <laughs> right, no, 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 right, calm down a minute, calm down, right, right, go, who's there? Who? Who, who? Are you a devil? Am I Blame your mum for that one, Abigail, because she told you to go the wrong way. Don't worry, your mum's going to be doing it in a minute, so you can get your own back. back. Don't you chuck rope in. Back. Back. Everyone's bloody forgotten what's happening. <laughs> That's it. Go on. There we go. Right, right. 
So Martin's allowed us to cruise all the way from Clayworth to the Whitsunday Pie Lock and we're about to enter the lock. It's been really nice relaxing, sitting on the top deck of the boat, enjoying the sunshine. So this is bridge number 60 and the lock is Whitsunday Pie Lock in Retford. And uh, the legend will have it that when the lock was being built, the navvies were given pies by a lady who lived in the house next to the lock. Whether it was that house or not, I don't know. But that's the story I've been told. Gemma's driving, so she's blocked the canal completely. <laughs> so Dom's gonna wind up the windlass. Yeah, so this, Don, what I was talking about earlier on, you see the whirlpool? Yeah. So what the lads did when when I went in here, they opened those top lake, mm -hmm. at locks, they lifted both of these up, yeah. and then everyone was jumping into yeah. this whirlpool. Doing that I nearly drowned in it, though. I was only a young lad, <laughs> and I, I, couldn't, I wasn't a strong enough swimmer. Careful you don't fall in, Abby. Yeah. So it looks like the lock's down to its level now. And we're opening it up. Are you coming with me, Abs? Here we are, look. The Whit Sunday Pie Lock. Are you going to go in front or me? We're going over. Yeah, hold on to the rail, step onto there. That's it. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. There we go. So, this down here, look, when the. Uh, when the water's high, watch out for nettles, darling. Look at all the fish in there. So when the water's high, it flows down here and around the lock, sorry, and into the bottom part of the canal. So you can see it all coming down here, look. This used to be full of weeds and bulrushes and all sorts of things. But it's looking a little bit lifeless these days. Shall we go and watch Martin driving in to the lock? Or is your mum driving? No. Squeezing in, look, because he's only opened one of the gates. Now just wait a minute darling because uh, I don't want you going over there on your own. 
quite yet. This is the other side of the sluice. I think it's called the sluice. I'm not 100% sure, you know. And uh, me and a few friends, we used to fish off this bridge just here. And there used to be loads of, uh, loads of big chub just at the bottom there where all the Nice fresh bubbly water was coming out. And also, some of them used to jump off this bridge into there, which is somewhat precarious, I think. So in order to save water, we're gonna share the lock with another couple of boaters. Because this is a, a wide lock, fit two boats in it side to side, but this is the last one on the Chesterfield. As we move into the town, then we're down to locks that just can fit one boat in. Isn't that right, Abby? Got a chimney pot. That's all right. You opening this one, Abigail? Posh. <laughs> uh, Sheffield. Oh, from Sheffield. Right? Yeah, yeah. He's got a boat yard. Uh, Right. So, is it more is it more near at Sheffield like I suppose? Uh, he's just at back of uh, incinerator where they've built that new incinerator yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Is it so near Victoria Quay? Oh, he doesn't build it, it's, he's got an hire company, a boat hire company. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's changed it since around there. But the funny thing is, I've never been Sheffield Canal in my boat. Right. I had that boat in 1997 and they've never had Sheffield Canal. But I am on barges as well. Right. Because kids used to ride up on barges. In them days we were in the under ten again and this and that and oh, yeah. and we used to ride up on barges. So I have actually been on it, but I've not been up on your boat. We'll yeah, there's time yet. You're going the wrong way anyway now. Have we got the wrong way? Yeah. Yeah, it looks different, doesn't it?
we're coming up on the last leg of the journey now. Dom's gonna bring us into more somewhere outside the brew shed. Yeah, just want to be getting ready to go around the corner. It's looking good, mate. I can't believe he, he nailed it. You threaded, threaded the needle there, didn't you, mate? Yeah, how can you be so good? That was brilliant, mate. Well done. You are a natural. You've got a job for life now, do you know that? I can sit on the front drinking beer. Just, yeah. Right, we're going to pull off over on the right here, just before the lock. I guess we're not open yet. <laughs> 